So here we have a very typical stainless steel fabrication. This is a handrail or a balustrade made up of very different many sections of stainless steel, but ones we're going to concentrate on here are these three here, which are made of box section. You can see on this box section, we already have a linear scratch, which came from the, the factory when this was actually manufactured. But the problem is we now have a weld here and we have a weld here. What we need to do to make this look much better or look, make it look like one piece of uh, steel is we need to remove this weld, first of all. But by doing that, we're going to create some rotary scratches and some damage on here. What we need to do once we've done that is put back this linear scratch and make it look seamless, as we said before. So to do that, we need a special machine called a Saturnex machine. So this is a variable speed grinder set to run at very low speeds, uh, down as low as 1000 RPM. And on these, we use Saturnex wheels. Now these are a different kind of wheel. They, this one to start with on the first stage is interleaved. So we have a one-to-one -one ratio of hand pad uh, bare text material in coarse grade alongside a flap of coated abrasives in grit 60. This is so we can provide a little bit of cut as well as finish with this wheel. So it does a, a couple of jobs. We can provide, get a good finish and we can remove all of the surface imperfections with this. But we have a slight problem with that. Where we have this angle meeting this angle, we're going to get what we call crossover. So we're going to have a bit of mishmash of the lines mixing together. So to stop that happening, we need to employ this special metal tape. So I'll show you how we use that. You can see it's uh, sticky back. We can place it in whatever direction we want here at 45 degrees. What we're doing here is we're masking off one set of linear scratch. And here we are applying a linear scratch in the opposite direction. For a more aggressive cut, the wheel can be used on its side. You can use this to take out deeper scratches or scratch lines that are not in line. The second stage is this wheel here, which is a, again a coarse grade Bertex hand pad material, but it's just non-woven material, so it's just hand pad material and no coated abrasives. So even though it's a similar grade product, it's not as aggressive and it will give a much better finish. So now we can remove the tape. Clearly you can see the two directional lines defined by what we call a mitered joint. So here we have the finished product. You can see the linear finish in this direction, the linear finish in this direction, and the linear finish in this direction. What's most important are these lines here, where we use the metal tape to mask off one direction of lines to the other. So you've got a very defined line separating these. Makes it look very good, I think. So this process for the sat next, it's a really easy product to use. It's a really fast way of finishing, and it's a superb finish. I think you'll agree.